moving on with our project, I want to reinforce some of the things that you can do with data validation. And in our last video, we inserted this new employee. If we go to our list, we can see that it is no longer in alphabetical order. To correct that, we go to our original list and sort that. We turn to our drop-down and we see that it is now in alphabetical order. I made a dead this data validation using range names, but you can do this do it without range names. Data validation following the same procedure, list drop down equals and simply highlight the cells. Now that works just fine. Now the only problem with doing that is that it makes it difficult to keep track of lists if you have many of them in a very large spreadsheet. So I've deleted that, and let's go ahead and do it the regular way. Uh, we'll create a range name, so we'll highlight the items. Call that underscore list. Return to our item sold and redo the validation. List drop down equals underscore list. Okay, we'll copy that down and. We now have a validation in this cell as well. Now when you have a very large worksheet, it could be difficult to keep track of all of the things that you're doing. So I normally have a convention where I'll shade in gray my list, I'll have my formulas in blue, and I'll do other such things to know that these cells, these white cells, are the only ones that I should be entering data into manually. We'll move on to if statements in the next video.